Hello everyone, this is Janice and I'd like to show you the masking technique. I'm using a product called Masking Magic. It's a clear plastic with tacky backing so that it will stick to your project. This is what it looks like. This is the back of it. You want to use stays on ink to stamp the image that needs to be masked. And for this project, I'm using Peachy Keen Stamps PK266 Duck Dolls. And I'm going to be using the large duck and the flower as a hat, and also the bow. I've already made some masks and cut them out. So I'm going to now now I'm going this is the image that that I'm going going to create. So I have the flower and the bow lined up because I initially stamped it on scrap paper first to get it in the position that I thought looked good. So here's the flower and the bow, light touch. And then for the mask, I had to cut extra of the mask because this little tuft of feathers goes beyond the flower and you don't want that to happen. So you only have to be precise about cutting the area where the stamp might touch. And here's the bow mask. This is actually my first time using the masking magic. Usually I just cut out a thin piece of paper. A lot of people use post-it notes. So now I'm using Memento ink because I like to color my image with Copics. <clears throat> and I'm just eyeballing where I think it looks good and there you go and as you can see it did stamp beyond the flower because it's memento ink and it smears because it doesn't dry I want to just dab it with some tissue and try not to smear it on my image that's the only part I don't like about this masking magic because it smears memento ink too easily. So now I want to stamp a flower so that I can stamp my other duck. I mean, I want to stamp the bow, I'm sorry. So I'm removing the flower. And hopefully I'll get this in a good position. You only need to use a very light touch with Peachy Keen Stamps to get a crisp image. Now I'm inking up the other duck. But before I do that, I need to put the mask over the bow. Okay, so now you line it up 
and stamp. Again, I'm going to wipe off the mask so I don't smear it on my card. And hopefully get it off without smearing. <laughs> Oops, sorry. I am smearing it a little bit. But you get the general idea. If I wasn't doing this on camera, I would get a better image without making a little bit of a mess. So Now the images are ready to color with Copics. And if you want to create more background behind the images, you would then cut out the entire mask and cover it and then you could stamp other images. So I hope you find this helpful. I'm sorry that I'm a little choppy tonight. <laughs> I've had a hard time recording this one. So I hope that it's helpful and if you have any questions please please ask and I'd be happy to answer them if I if I know the answer and if you have any special requests please feel free to do that. And I wanted to let you know that I appreciate all the lovely comments you left and um, I'm very happy that you found the other video useful. Have a good night. Bye.